Primrose Road. Home to some of the biggest urban legends in the city of South Bend. Now, I last did this one probably about a few years back when I first started doing this channel. And the last time I did it, it was a lot darker than this one. I had a lot grainier channel situations at that time. So the video quality was a little choppy. Uh, now, the uh, thing is, is that Primrose Road is creepy for a reason. The reason that it's creepy is because of the fact that, I mean, as you can clearly and plainly see, there are absolutely hardly any forms of light at all. I mean, this place is like probably what you would consider one of your serial killer's favorite tampering grounds or haunting grounds because of the fact that it's so doggone dark, and especially with the uh, cornfields. You see all the cornfields out on the right and the left, you see, and that in turn in and of itself is just plain disturbing. It, at least at night. Uh, during the daytime, that may be a totally different story. But as you can see, there's a big reason why there could be so many different urban legends placed around this. Anything from a haunted farmhouse over into a uh, whole thing with a police officer ghost that's supposed to slash tires when you don't go over or below a certain speed. Uh, I'm not sure how many people have tested those things. Uh, the last time I tested it, I just kind of drove through. I didn't really say too much on that. Uh, but I, I will show you kind of a little bit, at least with a better quality, uh, exactly how this road is because it is nuts. So I will allow for you to just revel in the atmosphere that is Primrose Road uh, in all of the month of October. So as you can see with Primrose Road, it means basically just a lot of farmland, a lot of cornfields, there's a lot of wood in area, not a lot of light. Uh, so really that, that leads itself to the whole haunting business. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think I saw too many uh, haunting things happening at that point it looked like it was pretty dead if anybody happens to see it have seen anything on that footage uh, feel free to let me know of it um, but I didn't see anything uh, at least driving through and I was driving through pretty slow about 20 to 30 miles an hour so ultimately yeah I would say once again I've gone through this one after 11 years and once again, I've seen nothing. 
And some of you could probably debate and say, well, you just didn't go during the haunting hour. You didn't go through the witching hour the 30, on the 33 o'clock in the if morning, or you didn't do it during Halloween time. And the thing is, in fair honesty, if anybody does it during October 31st, I mean, come on. There's going to be so many people out there. If they're going to do this whole thing, there's probably going to be somebody out there that is going to try to scare you or going to try to shake you up because of the fact that it's a well-known haunted road. I mean, come on. If anybody does that, I mean, feel free to give any kind of footage if you happen to do that. But seriously, it's going to be the fakest thing you'd ever see. So, there we have it. Primrose Road in a nutshell. Have a good day, everyone.